Hey Knuckle fans, so today's tutorial is all about CUD operations with Airtable API with Xano. Check it out. So today what we're going to do is we're going to uh, input the Airtable API key into Xano and save it in Xano. We're going to retrieve your Airtable table. We're going to retrieve a single record, an Airtable record. We're going to create a record in Airtable and we're updating a record in Airtable with Xano. So first things first, what you have to do is go to your Airtable base. You go into, you need to find your API key so we can save the API key. Right, so in your Airtable base, you go to your little mine in the corner, top right corner, you've got account, and this is your API key here. Always has your API key, so copy that. Go into your Xano. So I've got one created already, an instance already. I'm going to do it go into here so in Xano I created a temporary workspace uh, right so what we're going to do here now you've got API key I want to put it in the API key in your system variables so all you do is click on settings go manage this is so you can put all your API keys when you need them so I'm going to call it table API value and stick my value in there and that's it that's the first bit done that is the first bit you need to do. You get your API key into there, right? And for this, I'm going to create a function. I have a function. It's going to be retrieve input. It's going to be non-existent. And in here, I've got external API. Now, what you do here for this, it's a bit tricky. API documentation. So you go to help. Is it help? Yeah, help. API documentation at the bottom. Now, Airtable's API is really, really good, really well documented. So, what I'm doing is I'm going to um, my creators table in Airtable. I'm going to create a table here. Click on it. I'm going to list records this bit here. So what you do here is you grab this here, copy it, and you go into here, into your curl bit, stick the curl bit in there. Now this bit's got match records of three, but you can delete that and put it to how many records you want. And this comes up like this perfect straight away. Right, so in here, what you have to do after that, the authorization bears obviously just as your API key. What you want to do is get rid of that. I'm going to put in there. Then you want this. an F. Add argument. That argument is a table API key. There. So that's what F does. It replaces the percent %f with sprint f. There you go. So it's pulled all your records through, as you can see here. There we go. It pulled three of my records through, as you can see. So that's how you get that. So you pull that record through. So that is how you retrieve your records in Xano. That, and I cross saved that as a function. So now you can put this function in any API record um, flow. Now in Xano, what we need to do is we're going to <coughs> default one, our group, and we're going to add an endpoint. Add, quick start from scratch. And we're going to go call it. Yep, there we go. Here we're going to call function stack. We're going to add one here, but external API again. Back to here, we're going to click on retrieve a record and we're going to copy this again. Bang that in there again. And again, we're going to click on the value for the authorization, the bear token bit. Add a filter again, and I'm going to call it sprint f. Add the value again, 
and Airtable API update. Right. So what we're going to do here? Oh. Airtable record. This is just the testing. Table record. Oh, here. Let's get JSON dog. So we need the record ID, which is here. Copy that. Let's put that in there. And the default value. So what we've done there is we've pulled this record out here. Went to here, it's pulling this record out here, you see. Now what this does is not do it very well. Can't see what's going on there. Right, so have that there. So concatenate value can be the airport record <coughs> input update. Save. So now hopefully it will bring through this record. There we go run and there we go Jason dark just what we wanted that's that's pulled that through now get rid of that and that's it so that's retrieved that record and let's put it into there it's retrieved that record for us into our for our function snack and the end result was the record we're after What you can do here is add a database request, add a record to your database. And I've created a record, I've created a database already with Airtable ID. And ooh, what we can do here actually is pull these things, information here. Actually, what you do is disable that for the time being. Run it again. Run it again. You copy this JSON here after it's run successfully. And you come here. It's a, it's a API endpoint. This bit here. Subpath. Click on that. Then you check that JSON into there. You've got to define. And after that, you can find the record you're after so we've got name of records so we're trying to find the name so we're into fields name there we go save that run again now this should be in this temporary database i created earlier there we go jason dog record ids there perfect it's pulled it into this database i temporary created we just an air table record no air table id sorry and name of record Pulled it in perfectly. Just what we want. And you can change that value if need. If you want to change to another one, just to showcase. Let's have Joseph Beverly. He's got some awesome courses, uh, online courses, design courses with Webflow. If you ever want to check him out, let's put this Airtable record. Let's import. Put it on the Jason Beverly. So now I've reset it. So there we go. Run again. It should bring through Joseph Berry. There we go. In your case here, Joseph Berry. Perfect. Now to create a record in Sino, you have done a little test there already. See? Start from scratch. Go. Uh, table record. Right, let's go into the AP, uh, Airtable API documentation again. Now you want to grab all that there. Perfect. Go in here. External API again in the function stack. Import curl. Stick that in there. Right. Now, for some reason, it brings through two records. You can see it's got the flux record there as well, so you can get rid of one of them. Perfect, change your API key again, send S. 
going to an F rotation uh, to a API update. Perfecto. Now, so if I want to put in here, oops, make sure I save that first. <clears throat> Add import text can be name. What name? I'm going to put link to home page as well. Page. Oh. just base the fields around it. So you go into the name path, you get rid of that, you go to inputs, you set inputs text is the input of the name, you find the one for link to home page, you get rid of that, you go to inputs again, reset, text to home page, update. And you just do the rest for the further um, for what you need for further down uh, the image URL will need to save as a URL the image images will potentially have to save as a URL so that's all done run and debug so the default value is that perfect we've got 200 so it should be created in here John Sheridan and the link to home page is we have no code devs.com perfect so that's how you create a record with in Airtable with Xano now to update your record in Airtable with Xano all you have to do is go to the AP, Airtable API documentation again on the table you want to like create this table there update record so this is what the update is now we want to do is want to grab literally all of that so this is all your field names copy it and in Xano you go to the functions that stack in the API again you're gonna add function stack we've got external API request import curl and we're gonna chuck that in Xano brings up all the records for updating your Airtable record. So what we need, so in Airtable, I'm going to create a record. Here we go. In this, I need to grab the record ID. If you ain't got a record ID field, all you need to do, create a field, call it Airtable ID, formula, and Type record and just record ID. Really useful for you to do with every record you've got. Done that. So again, what you do is put the sprint F in here. This test data. And I'm just going to chuck that in there. That is the the input. That's just the test data basically. Let's add another one. And the input field and the name. I put Paul Warhurst in, so I'm going to put save that, and on here, back in the Airtable API, I'm going to change this to change the value to the input and to the name. Oh, sorry, what I haven't done is change this here. So we change this to input, insert result, edit the API. Sorry, that's one bit I didn't do. The rest I'm going to leave the same. So this is, that's how you update it. You basically go in, you update these fields, either from your inputs, from your database, or where they're getting the fields from. You make the changes in this in the fields here. Save that. But as you can see, it's updated. Chris Waddle. Hey guys, hope you found that useful. Please check us out at no code uh, at no code devs on Twitter and keep on building. Mm -hmm.